Uh, Joe Biden's president, Joe Biden, uh, President Old Joey Joey Bees, as I like I like to call him Joey Bees. Uh, the old Joey Bees lying to us from even before even before he got inaugurated. The man, I mean, this guy's a pro politician. You know, this guy is a fucking pro at being a politician. Where he was like, you know, a lot of people will will say a bunch of shit on the campaign. And then not deliver on them, uh, you know, until until after they're inaugurated, maybe a year or two later. But this guy, he's like, nah, I gotta, I gotta get moving on these lies. Gotta rock and roll. I mean, people are waiting for me to lie to them to their face. Uh, <laughs> one biggest, well, you know, the, the I think the biggest one is is him saying that he's gonna immediately approved the $2,000 checks, and now it's $1,400 because, oh, technicality, we already sent you $600. Uh, so, so, you know, take it, peasants. Just take it and shut up. It's going to be $1,400. You might get it in March. You might get it in April. Maybe you'll get it when Joe Biden is, uh, is no longer the president uh, and, and neoliberalism has worked its way all the way back around to neo-fascism. You don't know. So, uh, yeah, and uh, let's look at another lie that he has uh, has, uh, perpetrated. Um, Put ground troops in Syria, you guys. He's an armored convoy. This is day one, by the way. You know how he always talks about, on day one, I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. I'm going to help out the black community by updating the crime bill to be more about crime. It's going to be a crimier bill. And I'll look at the black community and I'll say, this is a crimier bill so you can cry me a river about defunding the police. Boom. Joe Biden. Uh, no, he, he, said, he said he said fucking ground troops into, into Syria. Came in from the northeast from Iraq. Uh a bunch of armored vehicles, about two, I think two, uh, the report I read said 200. I might be wrong. Um, it, it might be more than that. And by the way, you know, none of these wars have needed congressional approval. We haven't needed congressional approval to be in war until since World War II because uh, they're because diff- they're called occupations or, you know, si- uh, uh, militaristic sit-ins or whatever. Like, they're, they're, they use all these different terms. Like, no, it's not a war. Come on. We're... We're just hanging out with guns. This is just bro... We're just broing down with guns. This is a gun bro down. So, when he was inaugurated, the day he was inaugurated, the Syrian ambassadors, the Syrian ambassador, that basically came out and said, hey, uh, withdraw your troops from our country and stop stealing our oil. Like, straight up blatantly said that you're stealing our oil, you're, you're wrecking our resources... Um, and we would like it if you would stop doing that and, you know, fucking leave, get out of here. We don't, we don't want to see you here. And what does Joe Biden do, but send in more troops, (laughs) which is antithetical to what he said back in September, 2020, when he said that withdrawing troops is the right thing to do in Syria right now. Drawing down troops, I believe is, is, is how he put it. Drawing down troops, we gotta we gotta reduce the number of troops in Syria. That's the right move. And what does he do? But increase the number of troops. Uh, and not only that, but you know, because of this, um, there's been a bombing from from uh, the Israelis that has killed four Syrians, which includes two children. Regardless of what you say about Syria and other Syrians. Um, the civilian casualties of war is inexcusable. Especially for a country that has such an amazing, incredible military. And, you know, we sell our weapons to the Israelis and, 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 and the Iranians, and, and, or maybe not the Iranians, but the Iraqis. And, you know, our weapons are global. We got a global weapons manufacturing uh, wing here. There's nothing you can just... Like, there's no justification for what happened. 
other other than you killed kids. Like that's it. That's that's where it ends. Here's what I think should happen is if you are if you're a country that perpetrates war on an, another country, then and you're not going to, you know, you're you're you know there's going to be civilian casualties, which they do. They fucking know. There's no way that they don't. If that's what's going to happen, then you need to have a, a refugee policy. And other countries around the world have to approve you invade you being an invading force. And those countries have to agree to be like, okay, we'll back you up in the war, but you, but okay, and this is how much refugees we're willing to take from the war. But it starts with you. The, the first round of refugees comes to the country that wants to engage in that war. So in this situation, it would be, it would be America. How many people would go to war if that's the case? As nationalistic as America is, how many people would go to war if, if they knew... The, what the civilian uh, the, the civilian cost of war actually was and what that would mean for America obviously I think there shouldn't be war I'm one of those crazy people that's like hey war destroys not just human lives but also the planet it's all around the worst thing we've done as human beings all around the worst thing we've done And here we are, Joe Biden going back to basics. Because again, Obama was the one that started the war in Syria. He's the one that engaged America in the war in Syria. Oh, it's a terror threat of ISIL. Well, how did ISIL get created? Oh, was it a bunch of disillusioned Iraqi soldiers that felt like they didn't have a fucking place in their society after the war on terror fucking failed? Oh, and how did how did that attack happen? Oh, was it because you created Al Qaeda? Because you disillusioned a bunch of Afghan Afghanis by training them, giving them weapons to fight against the communist threat, and then you fucking bailed on them. Oh, is that what is that? Okay, so basically, these wars are uh, revising history and covering up your own mess. Oh, that's why all those people are dying. Oh, and you're trying to steal oil from these countries. That too. Oh, that must be it. Last year, uh, I wrote a, a, a fork full of noodles, did a two part about why people should be anti war. Um, and none of that has changed. The reason I wrote that piece to begin with is because last year, at the very beginning of last year, Trump assassinated uh, General Qasem Soleimani, who was on a peace mission in Iraq. So he opened fire in, 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 in this blatant attempt to start a hot war with Iran, which America would lose because the Quds Force, which is who Soleimani controlled, uh, has defeated American troops before when American troops backed Saddam Hussein. Again, you know, history gets revised and forgotten and people fall into propaganda because that's that's how the media is used in our society. It's, it's a domino effect. It's a daisy chain. That's how history works. One thing leads to another. And all, I mean, and this is really just Biden going back to basics. He's going back to Obama era stuff where it's like, okay, ground troops in, in Syria, I guess. I guess, I guess we're ramping up war in Syria. Over what? Is there a threat to national security? Did, did Syria cause the capital insurrection? Biden's also said he, he's, he, you know, in terms of the, the Middle East, he's also said that he's going to uh, support the Yemenis. I don't, I don't know if that'll happen because then you'd have to go up against Saudi Arabia and America is so buddy-buddy with Saudi Arabia. My guess is things are going to ramp up. He might, he might make a, 
you know, some statement that he's for, oh, the, the poor Yemeni people suffering, and then he'll, you know, sell weapons to Saudi Arabia or you know, send them troops. Do some mental gymnastics to justify it. Day one, day one, he ramps up war in Syria. Boy, is it, if that's what he's going to do on day one, I wonder what day 100 is going to look like for that country. You know? What he could have done instead on day one uh, is gotten Congress together to say, hey, let's send out those $2,000 checks. Let's get an individual bill going to send all Americans with the Social Security using census data to send Americans $2,000 checks. And let's do it by the beginning of February so that people can pay their rent if they need to and their bills. You know what else he could have done on day one? Use, uh, use an executive order to get everybody health care. You can go to section 1881A. You could have done that. Instead, he was like, nah, I'm going to send ground troops into Syria. That's what he's going to do. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video. Thanks again.